Today, we are going to understand how to invoke the charts in Excel, in IPP. So what we intend to, to see is that whenever we click on this icon, we should see a chart. But what happens is if, if the proper add-ins are not added, then it shows something like this, where it says that this XLAM file is missing or not activated. It also asks us to keep that file in this location so what we should do is search for this particular file in internet. So what he says, and we can see the GitHub link. In GitHub, we see that there are some templates available and we can download this template. So I already have this template downloaded, but I will have it overwritten. Let's see. So in my downloads folder, this got downloaded. Okay. So what we will do is we will copy this to our add-ins folder. So this add-ins folder is in your local C drive in app data roaming um, and uh, Microsoft add-ins folder. So I let me put this file again uh, so, that, so that it overrides or maybe I will delete this and I will copy this and put it here, right? So what we should first check is once we override this file, we should go to properties. And in properties, what it happens is that since we have downloaded it from internet, there is a security which says that this file came from another source and that's why it might be blocked. So what you should ensure is that I'm unblock it and apply. Next, what you should do is you should go to your Excel and you should go to uh, options and go to trust centers, trust center settings and go to trusted locations and add a new location and go add this add-ins location in your trusted locations. So what you should ideally do is you should go to this add-ins, you copy this location, right? You copy this location, copy, and then you paste it here, right? So you should you 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 should you can you know confirm that this is added as a trusted location. So once you do that, then you go to your Excel add-ins, and you uh, browse to that particular add-in and click on OK. You say yes, and it gets selected. This SAP IBP chart. You click on OK. If you get an error like this, then you should be looking for a proper. Um, compatible XLAM file. So let's see if that is not uh, working for you. Then let's see if this works. So we'll download this. And uh, the downloads, we go to here and we delete the ones that are is our add-ins folder and we paste it, rename it properly. You can do the same thing. Go to properties, unblock, apply, okay. Right. And then try to go to this options, add-ins, go, browse, select, okay. Yes, and have it selected. So now we see that um, we were able to successfully add the chart XML add-in. Now we will uh, see how it looks like. So. Um, now we load a template and click on this icon. Now we see that it is not giving any um, error pop up. So what we have to do right now is if we have to plot these key figures, we click on these key figures and then click on this plus icon to add. And if there are multiple data, we can put a filter on those data. And here we see that uh, since we have the actuals quantity in the past, it has plotted the actuals quantity and then stat forecast quantity in the future. So it has plotted the stat forecast quantity. And if we want to you know, change the chart, then we change the chart type and make a line chart for a stat forecast quantity, we can do so. And then save the, um, the update the. Template. Now we close it. Now we open the template again. Now 
and we see that the charts are retrieved right so this is the way you can add the add in chart to plot the charts in ipp